meteorologist Jamie Jarosik and your Storm Team 2 forecast. We'll get ready for a chilly night. Temperatures are going to drop into the low and mid 40s across the Miami Valley. We have clear skies for the next few hours. We'll be dropping quickly into the mid 40s. Uh, and then even low 40s are going to be possible as we head towards early tomorrow morning. But it is going to be a quick warm up with lots of sunshine in the afternoon. We should push right back into the mid 70s. So we'll actually be going above normal as we head through the day Sunday. Now, today we were pretty close to normal. 67 was the high, the normal 66, and very close to that low, too. But just below, we were at 43 this. This morning when you would expect to be near 46 at this time of year. A clear and chilly night tonight. Some of those outlying spots could even see a little bit of light frost depending on how low your temperatures go. Uh, but we get sunny and even warmer tomorrow. A very low rain chance will arrive Monday late in the day and into Monday night, but it's just about a 10 to 20 percent chance at this point. Forecast lows, though, in Dayton, 43 degrees. We've actually lowered these a little bit, uh, going with those current temperatures and how we're dropping pretty quickly already. Xenia's 41, Wilmington down to 40 degrees, so even cooler in those southeast counties. 41 in Bell Fountain, 43 in Sydney, and also 43 for the low tonight up in Salina. Right now we're 47, so we've dropped off rather quickly with the clear skies and pretty light winds. We've got a southwest breeze just about 5 miles per hour. Dew points are very low, so it's allowing those temperatures to drop off a pretty dry air mass. Here. You can see some spots even in the low 40s already up towards Bell Fountain, 41, 45 in Springfield, 46 in Xenia, but still 51 down towards Springboro. And on Live Doppler 2 HD, we don't have any rain in the area, of course. Checking out our local communities and zooming out to our uh, mid, mid range, you can see all of our sweeps going with no rain in sight. We really don't have any clouds over the Miami Valley right now, but there are some high clouds to the northwest. Those will continue to drop in, and at times we'll have some of them around, but they're going to be thin enough that it's really just going to be a mostly clear night. And future track shows the clear conditions through the overnight hours as we head into tomorrow morning. We may see some high clouds initially, but we're going to get back to tons of sunshine through the afternoon. Here's 6 o'clock looking mostly sunny and dry. And then tomorrow night pretty quiet as well. A few clouds, a few more clouds through the day Monday, especially as we get into the late in the day. Here's 6 p.m. Monday. A lot of dry weather, but there is that slight chance we'll see a spotty shower. Hour as a weak front comes through. Today, we are tonight, we're going to drop down to 43, mostly clear. It's going to be quite chilly with the winds going light, and then tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be up to 75. Lots of sunshine, pleasantly warm, much warmer than today, and there will be a bit more of a breeze. Southwest wind between 5 and 15 miles per hour. Your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast. If you are heading out to the Sauerkraut Festival tomorrow in Waynesville, it's going to be really nice. We're going to start off cool in the morning, but by noon, we're going to be up to 68 degrees, 5 o'clock, 75. Lots of sunshine across the board there. There is that slight chance of a spotty shower Monday with that front coming through. It's still going to be warm ahead of the front, but behind it, we're going to cool off. Tuesday's high is only 65 degrees. I'm going to be closer to those normal values as we head through much of next week. Uh, but take a look at the end of the week, what happens. Friday, that's another front coming through, which will drop temperatures again. So by Friday night, we could be in the upper 30s. And Saturday afternoon, the high will only be up into the upper 50s. So there is a cooler change coming to the area. Yeah, but definitely enjoy tomorrow because it seems like next weekend's not going to uh, provide that. Yeah, but some people are wanting that fall weather. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's coming. I, 